Hello, Marta. Hello, Martita. Hello. How are you Hello. today? Okay. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Nice to have you here. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. ¿Cómo se intenta trabajar la plataforma, Marta? ¿Fácil o difícil? Me siento. Me faltaban algunas cosas que hacer todavía. ¿Le faltan? ¿O ya las terminó todas? Hello, Marta. Ok, creo que está teniendo problemas de conexión. Así que voy a esperar que venga de regreso. Marta, ¿puedes escucharme ya? Ok, todavía no. Hello, Marta. ¿Hoy sí me escucha? Hoy sí. Hoy sí. Entonces, ¿cómo siente el trabajo en la plataforma, Marta? Un ratito me sentí que corrí, Leo, porque como todavía no habíamos terminado y oh, ahí sí. habían unas cosas que todavía yo no las había Estudiado. recibido. Listo, ajá. Pero ya terminó todo. Sí, lo terminé todo. Ayer lo terminó. Costó, pero... Sí, lo terminé. Ah, va. ¿A poco cualquier duda o consulta? Si tenía, me la podía hacer. No sé qué estará, pero casi no le escucho bien suave. ¿Puedo escucharme? No. Voy a, a ver si aquí los volúmenes de mi teléfono. Quizás el volumen, ¿eh? si quieres suba el volumen un poquito. Voy a escribir en el grupo para que se me... No sé qué estará, pero escucho bien suave. Y los audífonos no me funcionan ahorita. ¿Y tiene audífonos con Bluetooth? Sí, con Bluetooth. Ah, quizás por eso es. ¿Y los tiene conectados? Ahorita los voy a conectar porque ah, casi no se escucha. Él. Para escuchar mejor. Hoy sí. Hoy sí, ya se escucha. Hoy sí, ya. Sí, hoy sí. Ok. No sé qué le pasaba a quien no escuchaba. Qué raro. Solo voy a escribirles a, en el grupo a sus compañeros. Sí. Sí, maestra, sí, estoy escuchando bien ya. Hoy sí, ya. No sé qué estará. Ya les escribí porque saber qué estará pasando. Yo creo que pensaron quizás que no iba a haber clase. Como ya terminamos, ya, bueno, ya terminaron la, en la plataforma. Pero en las clases todavía no. Uy, está teniendo un problema de conexión. Marta, ¿puede escucharme? ¿Sí? Sí. No. Ok, creo que está teniendo problemas. Hola, Estrella. Hello. How are you today, Estrella? Hello, teacher. Very, very good. Very good. Ok, nice to have you here. ¿Ya terminó el trabajo en la plataforma, Estrella? Yes, teacher. Yeah, yeah. yesterday. Yeah, excellent. Yesterday, right? Yesterday. yesterday. Okay, thank you so much for being right here. Thank you, thank you. We are going to start, okay? Just give me a second. Hello, Audrey. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Fine. You better? Fine? I'm better. Okay, excellent. Nice to have you right here. Thank you so much for being here. So we are only three, right? few people, but I think that we are going to start with today's class because it's already the time. So look at it, the first thing that I have right here for you is the following. I have this little conversation, right? So I'm going to read it first. So please pay attention to the pronunciation, right? And I want you to pay attention to the words that you don't know. 
so that you can ask me about the meaning at the end when I finish reading this, okay? So I'm going to start. Please pay attention to the pronunciation. So it says the first one is with between shock and Melissa, right? It says, where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the USA? No, I came here in 1999. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. I took English classes for two years. First, <laughs> well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay, so there you go with the pronunciation. Do you see any new word or not? Any new word? A word that you don't know the, the pronunciation, for example. Teacher, a mí con los números me cuesta bastante. Okay. Okay, what we can do is that we can divide the numbers into two parts. Okay? Mm -hmm. Give me a second. I will explain that to you. For example, we have right here 1999, right? So we divide two numbers and two numbers. So it will be in this way. And you will say first. 18. Uh -huh. 18. Uh -huh. Is this 18? 99. Uh -huh. 1999. Okay. 19. Ah, sí. Ah, sí. 19. 19. 19. 19. Vamos a ver otra estrella. Quiero ver si le doy este número. ¿Cómo sería este número, estrella? Uh, 17. Uh -huh. uh, 65. Excellent. Just one uh -huh. more to make sure. Um, it will be... This one. Let's see. Aha, uh -huh, Estrella. Uh, say, uh, 16. Uh -huh. 38. 1638. Aha, uh -huh, that is 1638. Aha. Uh -huh. What do you think, Adri? Is that correct? 1538. Uh, exactly. 15, Estrella. Okay. Mm -hmm. 15. 15? 15. 38. Exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. Excellent. Okay. Don't worry, okay? Today we are going Pero, to... Li, li, es, vaya, sería... Todas las fechas se pueden pronunciar de dos en dos. Sí. Lo, sí. El año. Ajá, en fecha, digamos, hablando de años. Pero si ya hablamos de, de dinero, sí es diferente, ¿verdad? Sí, ahí sería más recomendable sí. decirlo así como digamos, que voy a pagar una cuenta y me salen esto. Dos mil quinientos. Ahí sí tenemos que leerlo como 2,500. Ah, ok. Esa era mi duda. Gracias. Yes, you're welcome. Ok, so there you go. Hello, Marlene. Oops. How are Hello. You? Fine. Thank Excellent. you, teacher. Ok, nice to have you right here. So right now, Marlene, we are going to have this little practice, ok? Uh, I just read this paragraph. I don't know if you want me to read it one more time for you to pay attention to the pronunciation or not? Yes? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, yes. so I will read it one more time. Please pay attention to it and take notes in case you, you have questions about it, okay? So here we go. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the US? No, I came here in 1999. Mmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is pretty good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay, so that was it. Thank you so much. Okay, 
So, do you have questions about any new word or any pronunciation? No. Teacher, el verbo ahí en la cuarta línea uh -huh. es, es Kane. One, two, three, four. Kane, yes. Kane, okay. Kane. the past of come, right? It will be come in the present and came in the in the past. Okay. Yes. Do you know what what is the meaning of this right away? Okay. Mm -hmm. Alguien sabe? ¿Qué significa right away? Right away. Mm -hmm. right away. No. No. Cursando no. ahorita. No. Cerca de aquí. No. Oh. <laughs> No, el significado en este caso, right away, sería enseguida, como rápido, ¿ok? Pero va junto, ¿verdad? Sí, en la pronunciación ustedes pueden decirlo pasito a pasito, que sería right away, o lo pueden hacer junto, a mí okay. me gusta más decirlo junto, que sería right away, right away. Okay. Sería como despacito. ¿verdad? Ajá, right away. Away. Exactly, right away. In that oh, way. Excellent. Do you have any other question about the pronunciation or something? No. Clear. Yes. No. Okay. So we are going no. to start. Yes, Marta? Mm, the pronunciation. Yeah. La pronunciation. Teacher. Yes. Si lo puedo pronunciar, sí. Y ese. Uh, uy, perdón. Solo. Ese where, where, ¿cómo sería? Where, where. <laughs> uh -huh. where. Yes, sería where, where, where. where. La pronunciación where. es la misma. Es lo mismo. Yes. Ah, uh, ok, ok. Where were you born, Melissa? Ok. Born, so, Melissa. We are going to start with two. Let me see. It's going to be Adriana and Marlene, ok? Adri and okay. Marlon. Okay? Okay. Mm. So please yeah. go ahead. ¿Quién empieza? You okay. you want? <laughs> okay. Uh, where well, were you born, Melissa? I was I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born born in the US? No, I came here in Nineteen ninety-nine. Um, you were pretty young. Yes. Yes, I was only seventeen. Did you go to the college right away? Right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Excellent. I love it. Amazing. I mean, like the pronunciation of everything. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Yes. It was so Thank good. you, Marta. Bravo. <laughs> Excellent. That was so good. Thank you so much. Excellent. The two of you, right? Good pronunciation. Thank you. Now let's see. We're going to have Estrella and Sarai, okay? And Marta, you are going to be with me, okay? But then, okay. when, when they finish. Okay. okay, Estrella and Sarai, please go ahead. Okay. Uh, yo soy Chuk. Yes. Compañera. <laughs> Uh, where were you born, Melissa? Sarai. Sarai. Yes, okay, here we go, Sarai. Go ahead, please. <laughs> Yo empiezo. Finish. No, you. Yo are... ya yes. Oh. Start again, please, Estrella. Uh, where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Korea. Oh, uh, oh. So you weren't born in the USA. 
No, I came here in 2029. Mm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good. I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks. Your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Okay, thank you so much, the two of you. That was an excellent presentation and participation, okay? I love it. I like it a lot. At the end, I will give you some feedback, okay? So now we go with Marta. Marta, you are going to be Melissa, and the teacher is going to be Shock, okay? So let's okay. start, Martita. It says, okay. where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you were born in the U.S. No, I can't. Er, in my... Mm, 1999. Um, 99, yes. 99. Excellent. Um, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No. My English was very good, so I took English class for two years, yes, please. Well, your English is really good now. Thank you, English. English uh, is very good too. Yeah, but I was born here. Excellent. Thank you so much for your participation. You. That was so good, Martita. Excellent. So now we are going... This is in general, right? Bravo, <laughs> Niamh Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, 19. I said, yeah, 19. Uh huh. Nine. Naiba. No. No. Seria? 19. No. 99. 99. Exactly. In that way. Excellent. Entonces, vamos a dar un poco de feedback. Okay? De estas palabras. Seria. Esta, ¿cómo lo decimos, Saraí? El número que tenemos aquí, el año, ¿cómo lo decimos en inglés? Todos los, todos los partes. 19. 19. 99. Excellent. Yes, that is the way. 1999. Then we have another one. It's going to be really. Okay. We say it really. Then, this one. Pay attention to this one. We Because we say... First. 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 It's called error. Uh -huh. We don't say first. We say uh -huh. first. Sería first. Exactly. First. In that way. Then we have this one that is now. 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 Porque si decimos no, estamos hablando del verbo saber. Okay. Mm. Ahí está la diferencia. Ese que les no, escribí en el no. chat. Si sí, se dice no, que sería saber. Pero este de aquí lo decimos now, que significa ahora. Ok. El otro. Estas dos juntas tenemos que decirlo pretty good. Pretty good. Exactly, in that way. Pretty good. Excellent. Ok. So that was it about this little part. Ok. So now we are going to move on into this. This topic that is be born, right? This is part of the activities that you have in the platform, but that you have in the platform. So look at it. It says that the verb born must be all the time with the verb be. Okay? They are going to be always together, like brothers, sisters, and twins, right? You are going to have only always be and born together okay you are not going to find only born 
I born in the USA. No, I was born in the USA. Okay. So there you go. But teacher, if I want to have be born in the future, in the past, or in the present, you only change the verb be. The verb be, it's going to be the only one that changes. Okay. For example, in the present, the verb be, it's going to be if, am, and are. Okay. So we can say, I am born, she is born, and you are born. But if I want to have that in the past, ah, that will be was and were. I was born in El Salvador or Adri, for example, right? You were born in Italy, right? For example. Okay, so there you go. What is the meaning of be born? Mm -hmm. Who knows? ¿Qué significa be born? ¿Alguien sabe? Be born. Uh -huh. no. 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 Be born significa... Uh -huh. Nació o ha nacido. Nació, ajá. En este caso, si lo decimos así, be born, sería nacer. Ok, pero si yo digo... Como está ahí escrito, nacer. Ajá, este de aquí, nacer. Ajá. Nacer. Ya, este de aquí, si yo digo, for example, she is born, sería ella nace. Ok, she is born in the hospital. For example, right? In the hospital. Entonces, el significado sería ella nace en el hospital. Ok, another one. I was born in Canada, for example, right? ¿Qué significa esto? Oops. Esto significa yo nací en Canadá, ok yo nací en el pasado ok, so there you go do you have any question about be born or not solamente estaba viendo teacher en la plataforma cuando la estaba realizando el web se utiliza para terceras personas y creo si no mal entendí en plural también, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. En este oh. caso, para las terceras personas ocupamos was. Para todas las terceras. She, it, he, and, and I'm. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Uh -huh. Y para el resto ocupamos where. For example, para you, they, or we. Ok. There you go. Excellent. Good question. Do you have any other question? No. Okay, so no more questions. So we're going to have a little practice, right? This practice is so simple. Really, really simple. Look at it. You are going to complete this, the text in general, but using was and where. You decide. Ahora que Adri nos ayudó ahí a definir con quién ocupamos was, y con quién ocupamos where, podemos hacer esta actividad. Solo lo voy a hacer un poquito más grande. Aquí está. Ok. So, let's start. Adri, you go with the first one. I was. Can you read the complete sentence, please? I was born in Germany on January... Uy, ya no me acuerdo. <laughs> 12. 12. Así, 12. Ah. 12? 12 and 1998. Excellent. Okay, then you go with Marlene. Please. Sorry, the chai boy. Don't worry. My mother say it where? Ah, yes. it, okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, was, 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 was. Okay. <laughs> Lo tenía anotado. Can you read My the script? Okay. Yes. My mother says it, it was a very cold day. Excellent. Okay, just one little detail, Marlene, okay? How about pronunciation to improve, okay? We say this, says. 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 Okay. Says. Excellent. Thank you so much, Marlene. 
Let's continue with Marta. The other one, please. Ahí sería where. It. Empezamos con it. it. ¿Cuál sería aquí? Where. Where, segura. What. Was. Ajá. ¿Con quiénes ocupamos was, Martita? So if, he, he, it. Y he. Sorry. Y he, uh -huh. yes. Entonces sería he, yes. she, it. Uh -huh. Excellent. ¿Puede leer la oración completa? Por favor, Martita. Sí. I was with, with Snow, my father, um, grandfather. Grandfather. Ajá. ¿Qué sería aquí en este espacio? Mm. My father and grandparents. Sea was también, ¿verdad? Was. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, mi abuelo, no, sería mi padre y mis mi padre abuelos. Y mi abuelo. mm. Entonces aquí sería where. Exacto. Where. 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 Ahora, ajá. Sigamos leyendo. We're at home in my brother and sister. We're at Excellent. School. Perfect. Thank you so much, Marta. Yeah. Now we go with Estrella. Go ahead, please. Yes. Um, it was uh, almost on midday. Yes, midday. Es midday. Midday. Uh -huh. Continue, please. Yo, teacher. Yes, please. Uh -huh. My dad was excellent. Very nervous. Uh huh. My grandparents. Was very nervous mm -hmm. too. Was very nervous. Stop. My grandparents. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué sería? ¿Cuál sería en este? Estaba hablando. Es, es, pensé que estaba hablando y que tenía con el micrófono. <ríe> My grandparents es los abuelos, entonces diría where. Ajá, pero serían los abuelos, plural. Were, were. were. Exactly. Were. were very nervous too. Thank you so much, Estrella. Now okay. we continue with Sarai. Please, go ahead. Uh, my mom uh, was now. Mm -hmm. After all, I were. Ah. Her this. True. Okay. So de nuevo. Was, after, de... after all? After all, I was. I was? Her. Her. Uh -huh. Third child. Third child. I. I wear. I wear. Entonces, ¿por qué aquí me dijo was? I. I, I was. I was, exactly, yes, aha. Uh -huh. Born and hours later. Aha. Uh -huh. I was named Julia. Excellent. Thank you so much, sorry. We continue with Adri. One more time, please. Go ahead. I am from Ireland. 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 I was born on July 15, July, uh, July 15, and uh, 2000. Um, 15 days, er, okay, wait, I, I just did. no, sí, sí, es que tengo el, la, la pantalla de las personas aquí en el <laughs> okay. um, 2000. Uh, 15 days earlier than I was supposed to. Uh, sigo. Yes, please. I was already uh, hyperactive. Hyperactive. Hyper, hyperactive. 
It was a sunny day and my parents were on holiday. So they were at the beach. Excellent. Thank you so much, Henry. Stop right there. Thank you. That was so good. Excellent. All of them were good. Perfect. Okay, now we go with you, Marlene. Please. Okay. It was hot, so they were at the sea when my mom say, say, said, said, no, ¿Cómo fue? said, said, said it, said it, así, said, it was time to go to the hospital. Sí. Continue, yes. My dad was very nervous because I was his first child. Excellent pronunciation. Continue. I was born four hours later. My name is Henry. Excellent. Thank you so much. Bye, Bye. That was so good. Pero la mía Martita me hace barra. Mire, ya vio. Exactly. You see, good classmate, right? <laughs> okay, Martita, you go with one, two, three, and four. Okay, the first okay. one. Aha. Uh -huh. Vamos, mía Martita. You can do it. Where they from? Born in China. Aha. Uh -huh. Were they born in China? No. No. They was. They was. They was. Aha. Uh -huh. Sure. They Entonces, was. sí. Porque, ¿por qué contestamos con they was y escribimos aquí where? Where entonces. Aha. Pero recordemos que está en negativo. Entonces uh -huh. tenemos que agregarle they were, were. not or they weren't. They were. Okay. Okay. Uh, Excellent. Okay. Let's see. Number two, Martita. This one. Sería. <laughs> Sería. Were they. Were they. Um, were in the sign? No. Uh -huh. Esa no puedo pronunciarlo. Este. Ven, okay. Sería primero. ¿Verdad? Sí. Ok, espérenme un, un momentito. ¿Cuál es el verbo que necesitamos aquí? Where. Ajá, tenemos aquí where, they, where y después. Where is it? Mira, aquí tenemos un ejemplo, Marta. Justo aquí, mire. Lo mismo no, prácticamente. Where. ¿Qué nos hace where. falta? Sería este where. Aquí tenemos where, they. Where. What, what, no, pero no sería what. Pero... Born. Exacto, estrella. Thank you, Sería so born. Sería born. Oh. Uh -huh. Mira, Martita, aquí tenemos el ejemplo, ¿ve? Were they born in China? Were they uh -huh. born? ¿Cómo decimos este número? Sería, sería 20 primero, ¿verdad? Ajá, ¿cómo sería? Sería este. Ta... Me cuestan los números. Don't worry, aquí estamos para practicarlos. Sería este. 20. Ajá. 20. How? Four. Excelente, Martita. Now, with the answer, vamos con la respuesta. No. No. Where. ¿Y no. el objeto? ¿Cuál es el sujeto de esta pregunta? El sujeto es China, no. Sí, ¿verdad? No. En este estamos, Martita. En este de aquí. Were they born in ten on for now? Um, no, no, no. ¿No sabe? Ok. No. ¿Quién sabe cuál es el sujeto de esta oración? They. Exactly. They. No. They. Were. 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 Exactly. Yes. Thank you so much. No. They were. Siempre, siempre pusiera, tendría que poner. Uh, uh. Sí, okay. Si ponemos 
weren't, porque aquí sí, tenemos el were. no. Que la hace negativa. ¿Ok? Continuemos. La otra, la tercera. I, um, yeah, where, where este. you live? Sería where you live? Ajá. Where Julie? You live? ¿Cómo pondríamos, podríamos reemplazar con un pronombre a Julie? Con un pronombre como yeah. I, you... It. Sería ella, she, you, she sería ahí, ¿verdad? Ajá, sería she. Entonces, ¿cuál es sí. el verbi que ocupamos para she, Marta? Yeah. I was. Was, perfect. Was Julie. ¿Y qué verbo sí. necesitamos aquí? Ahí sí sería este, el que estaba pronunciando. Sí. Born. Siempre llevaría born. Ahorita sí, porque estamos hablando de fechas de nacimiento. Mm. Ok. Entonces sería... sería y la respuesta. Yes. Yes. I bore. Ajá, ¿por qué hay? ¿Es hay el sujeto de la pregunta? No. ¿Cuál es yes. el sujeto? Yes. Sí. Sí, ella. Ajá, yes, sí. Bor. Nos falta, Julie, nos falta el, el verbi. No, no sabe. Ok, tranquila, no. no pasa nada. ¿Quién nos puede ayudar aquí? Tenemos yes, she. ¿Cuál sería el verbi para she? Was. Excellent. No, pues... Yes, was. she was. Thank you so much. And the last one, Martita. Number four. Aquí está el verbo. Sorry. She was. He was. Henry. Así sería. Ajá. ¿Cómo sería aquí? ¿Alguien tiene, tiene alguna idea? Este es diferente. Quizás podemos usar con, con este, como está haciendo una pregunta. Sería un este, ¿cómo se llama? W. -H. Ajá. Ajá. ¿Y cuál sería el que podríamos ocupar? Where was Henry born? Excellent. Perfect. Where was Henry born? Y la respuesta. He. He born in Ireland. Uh -huh. Nos falta. He, wa he was. He was born. Exactly. He was born in Ireland. Now let's see number five. Oops, ¿cómo sería number five? Uh huh. Who knows? ¿Quién sabe? Sería where. Sería where. Where was Julie? Born. 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 She. Was born. Was born in German. Number six. When it was Henry. When. When was Henry? Henry born. Born. Oops. And the answer, Mareni. He. He was born in. 2000. In 2000. Excellent. Number seven. Where, where was? Where was? Uh -huh. Ajá. Where? Sería, where? What? When? Estamos, was. Ajá. Sería when porque estamos hablando de una fecha, no de un lugar. Ok. When was Julie? Born. 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 She... Was born. was born. And the date, Adri? In 1998. Excellent. And the last one. Help me with the last one. ¿Cómo sería?
¿Qué ocuparíamos ahí? ¿Qué nos hace falta en ese pedazo? ¿Alguien sabe? Was. Exactly. Was Henry born on January 12? No. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Uh, no, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Excellent. Good job. You see? Excellent. So now we, we are going to move on into another part. I have another activity for you. But let, give me a second so that it can load. Okay, we are going to have a little talk. Thank God we are few people because I don't have a lot of questions for you. So look at it. You are going to choose one box. And inside the box, you are going to find a question. And you are going to answer the question. Okay? So let's start. My first volunteer, I can see Marlene saying, yes, I want to talk. <laughs> Yes, Marlene, I can see your beautiful face saying yes. Hi, teacher. <laughs> okay, give me a number, okay. Marlene. One to six. I choose number six. Number six. Let's see the question. How was your first day of school? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Marlene. <laughs> okay. I I cry in every 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 hour, right? Every minute. Okay. So if if we want to answer this question, ¿cuál sería el sujeto que ocuparíamos, Marlene? I. I sería I para describir el día. El día. Ah, okay. Was. ¿Cómo es verdad? How. Ajá, how. how. ¿Cómo fue tu primer día de escuela? Eso es exactly. Exactly, yes. Ok. Sería my first day of, of school was... Excellent. Terrible. What? Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> Excellent. Yes, look at it. Ok, quiero que pongan atención a esto. Cuando yo les hago una pregunta, quiero que me den respuesta larga. ¿Ok? Que sería, sería respuesta... My first day of no school. Was no terrible. Excellent. In that way. My first day of school was terrible. Tenemos la pregunta completa. ¿Ok? Porque no es lo mismo si Marlene nada más me contesta, was terrible. Ajá, pero ¿qué fue terrible? Ah, my first day of school. Okay? Thank you so much, Marlene. You see that you wanted to participate. Okay. Now let's see. Estrella, you are going to be the second one. Go ahead, please. Choose one box. Okay. Cha uh, number three. Number three. Let's see. How was your first boyfriend in this case? Let's remember the Garacho, right? How is cuando? Como? How? My first boyfriend. My first boyfriend is a. Uh, um, So, um, come on, yeah, yeah. It's a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit And um, only that handsome teacher, And, handsome. <laughs> oh my god, okay, <laughs> handsome. Uh -huh. Only that, yes, teacher. yes, okay, excellent, good answer. Look at it, long questions, long questions, long answers, right? Look at it, it will be como Estrella lo dijo, 
My first boyfriend was tall, brown eyes, and handsome. Excellent. Excellent, Australia. Good participation. The next person, it's going to be Marta, please. Marta, are you here? Creo, creo que se quedó congelada. Sí, Marta tiene problemas de conexión ahorita. Ok, no pasa nada. Entonces vamos con Adri. Please, Adri. Choose one box. Um, number four? Number four, let's see. I imagine a little <laughs> question, right? Where were you born? And I'm born in El Salvador. Oh, I what? What? I what? I was born in El Salvador. <laughs> Excellent. I was born in El Salvador. This one's so easy, right? So let's choose another one. Um, choose another box. And number two. Number Is two. <laughs> okay, this one. Why did you take this class? Uh, because for me now is necessary for my job. So uh, I take this class. I take in the past? I, I, I took, took. I took. I took the, this class for my job. Excellent. Perfect. Good answer. Now let's see. We are going to continue with Sarai. Please, choose one box, Sarai. You have two options. Sarai, are you here? Sarai is not here. Sarai, are you here? No, Sarai, today. Okay, so Marlene, please, choose one box again. También eso es trampa, teacher. Ah, you see. <laughs> uh, number five. Number five, it says, easy, look at it, easy. <laughs> Where did you grow up? I, I, Greece. No, como era el pasado de Spanish. No, ¿cuál era el pasado de grow up? Grow up. I don't remember, teacher. Uh -huh. ¿Quién se recuerda? Grew. Yes. It was grew. Grew up. Yes. I grew grew up in in Turin. In Turin. Okay. Good answer. Look at it. There you go with the verb. Grew up. In the present is grow up. And in the past, it will be grew up. Excellent. And Thank the you. last one, you're welcome. Thank you too. And the last one, it's going to be for Estrella one more time, right? So Estrella, this is for you. You don't have any other options. So sorry for that, okay? But look at it. Who was your first friend in a school? Do you remember? <laughs> I, I, I first was no, I fears well, no, I was fear friends. Uh -huh. uh, hold on, hold on. Uh -huh. Y vamos bien. ¿Cómo sería? Uh -huh. I no my my was fear my friends. Me qué? Fear friends. Exactly. Yes. Uh -huh. My was fear friends. No, 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 no. No, al revés. My first friend. My my fear friend was excellent. <laughs> my <laughs> fear friend was a early teacher. No remember. <laughs> remember. <laughs> no remember. <laughs> okay, let's invent a name. Uh, uh, it's um, any name. El nombre que sea. Ah, oh, eh, Mónica. Mónica. Excellent. Monica. Thank you so much, Estrella. So okay. now, that was it, right? You see, easy for you, right? To use verbs in the past. 
And right now, we are going to have a dictation practice because I know that you love this part of the classes of English, right? So let's read. Let's take a notebook, a pen or a pencil and be ready to listen to the teacher saying blah, 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 right? So do you feel ready? Are you ready now? I'm ready. Yes, I was born ready, right? You see? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start. I will say two times each phrase, okay? So it says, one day of the flight, comma, just for you to know, this is going to be about uh, verbs in the past. Okay? Just for you to take notes about it. Let's start. One day of the flight, comma. One day of the flight, comma. My mom drove me to the airport. My mom drove me to the airport. And she came in and she came in with me with me into the airport terminal into the airport terminal period when we left the house comma when teacher we... teacher pardon into the airport terminal period video period punto Ah, okay. When we left the house, comma, when we left the house, comma, my mom said to me, colon, colon significa dos puntos. My mom said to me, Colin, remember to take your suitcase. Remember to take your suitcase. Coma. But, unfortunately, voy a escribir esa palabra porque creo que es la primera vez que se, que, que se las digo. Unfortunately. This is the word. En el chat se las dejo. But, unfortunately, esa que les mandé al chat es unfortunately. Y significa de repente. Ah, no, 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 no. No, la teacher got crazy. No significa de repente, significa desafortunadamente. Ay, the teacher, right. He's thinking about another thing. Desafortunadamente. Sorry for that. Okay, so let's continue. <laughs> so sorry. But, unfortunately. Teacher, yes. Tengo una duda. Yes, tell me. Y esa cuando termina así que es mente, desafortunadamente, como es mente, nos lleva a doble L. En algunos casos. Ah, ok. okay. No en todos. Gracias. You're welcome. Ok. But unfortunately, coma, we forgot it in the card. Coma, we forgot it in the card. Final period. Final period. I will read it one more time. Complete. Okay? So that you can check quickly. 
On the day of the flight, my mom dropped me to the airport and she came in with me into the airport terminal. When we left the house, my mom said to me, remember to take this, your suitcase. Remember to take your suitcase. But unfortunately, we forgot it in the car. Okay, there you go. Easy, right? So you have one minute to send me the picture. If you want, you can do it in the group. And if not, you can do it in a private message, right? On a, in a direct message, as we say. And when we finish, cuando todas me lo hayan mandado, voy a empezar a escribir como era. Para que vayan viendo si lo tuvieron bueno o malo, ¿ok? <clears throat> okay, I received the first one. The was Estrella, no me diga que no le había contestado esos mensajes. Y Estrella, de verdad no le había contestado esos mensajes. Ah, no, ya me acordé. Lo resolvimos en la clase, ¿verdad? Ay, ya me había asustado, dije, yo la dejé en visto. No, Tichiro, fue en la clase. Sí, ya me acordé, gracias. Bueno. Ok. Ok, I can see. Let's see another person we have right here, Marlene. Thank you. And we have Audrey, right? Okay, drop me. Okay, ya que lo tenemos ahí, la teacher va a empezar a escribirlo aquí para que hagamos los errores, okay? Individualmente. <laughs> No, esa cara, Adri. No, no pasa nada, es, ¿ok? Es que me puedo los verbos, me los puedo, aquí, o sea, aquí me los puedo en pronunciación, pero lo que es escrito de... <risa> Ok, no pasa nada. Por eso hacemos estas prácticas escritas, ¿ok? Así desarrollan su habilidad para escuchar y para escribir, ¿ok? Entonces, empecemos. Sería, on the day of the flight... Of the flight. Ajá, si escribimos flight. Flight significa vuelo. Ok, sería el día del vuelo. My mom drove me to the airport. Ok. And she came in with me. Ok, miren cómo escribimos me. Así. Porque si escribimos así, sería my. Ajá, ¿ok? Ahí va una diferencia con la pronunciación. With me into the airport terminal. Period, right? Oops. Terminal. And then we continue. When we left the house... Oh, mom. My mom said to me, column, right? Column significa dos puntos. Column. Remember to take your suitcase. Suitcase significa traje. 
okay, your suitcase. But on four, let me see. Yeah, on four, two, naply. Yes, unfortunately, comma, we forgot it in the car. In the car. Okay, so there you go. Ahí tienen. Para que vayan revisando. A ver en cuáles. Creo que tuvieron problemas. Voy a señalar las que yo pienso, las que yo medio vi. También vi esta. Ok, quiero ver. The airport. Me pareció ver que... Le añadieron otra letra, creo yo. Came with me. I'm into the airport terminal. Airport de nuevo. And we left. Creo que alguien no me acuerdo. Left the house. My mom said. Ok. El pasado del verbo say. To take your suitcase. But unfortunately, we forgot it in the car. Ok. Ahí tienen el dictado. Estaba fácil. Ok, ¿cómo lo sintieron? ¿Fácil o difícil? Es que se oh, siente so... difícil que uno no haya que escribir a <risa> Así se siente. Difícil. Yo pensé que me había equivocado más, pero fueron algunas palabritas nada más. Uh -huh. A veces como que le agregamos una letra extra a la palabra. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Ok, vamos súper bien. Entonces, probablemente voy a hacer otro el día jueves, no, miércoles. ¿Ok? Para que sigamos practicando. Día miércoles tenemos otro dictado, que sería la continuación de este párrafo. ¿Ok? Porque es un párrafo largo, pero lo vamos a dividir. ¿Ok? Entonces, chicos, bueno, chicas, <ríe> esto sería todo por el día de ahora. Um, espero verlos el día de mañana. ¿Ok? So, bye bye, have a good night, and hope to see you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Thank you, bye, bye. Thank you teacher. Bye. Bye.